that's actually not a bad idea for a mean match, just being able to uh, not use two moves, because it also forces you to use moves you normally wouldn't use on that mon, so it gives you an idea of like how you can use it. That Are actually helps. Everyone out. shut up, because Ben's actually winning. Okay. Yep. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. It is time. We are here. Welcome to the semifinals of HDL Season 3. I... What the fuck was that? <laughs> I dropped my water bottle. I'm sorry. Way to just kill the mood, buddy. So quiet in here, you can hear a water bottle. The drop. one time I actually try to go into like a, like a serious-esque escapade, and that shit happens. Come on, you know this league. We don't do that here. All right. Anyway, it's been a it's been a long road. We're here in the semifinals. It's time to figure out who's gonna make it to grand finals, and who's gonna be fighting for sloppy seconds. Uh, uh, well, now that you put Tuesday. it like that. Oh boy, it's Tuesday. Are we going? Oh, yeah. To see Tyler or Yarun try to go for a repeat W in Grand Finals. Is Yarun going to get back the D to his home? Is the arc going to reach an end? We'll, we'll find out. Or is our newcomer underdog Kalisto going to just up and sweep the entire league? Who knows? We'll find out after this after these fights. So, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start with Sandy against Kalisto. For those who aren't aware of how we handle the live commentary shenanigans uh, in chat, <coughs> the way we do this is uh, when it is time for the respective people to fight, they will be leaving the voice call we are currently in. They will then be allowed to return into the voice call after their match is over, just so that's way there's no, you know collusion that that sort of thing right this is serious time there's no there's no shenanigans time this time would also be advisable to mute uh alternatively you can just you know server mute and deafen yourself in in voice call until your match is over because it's the same result uh but you know just either way same outcome either way anyway with that out of the way, let's uh, let's just jump into uh, into the who's the first fight? Why not? Hmm? So jump right into it. Let's uh, let's just go straight into Sandy against Kalisto. Tricky with guys. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah, you should probably. Uh, you know. Uh, oh no, my toy stumped it. I think he died. I think he died of a stubbed toe. That is. GG well, survived. that is not what I would have wanted written on my tombstone. Oh no, my toe, I stubbed it. Finally figured out what what music for this match there needs to be. Super Mario World 3 level one. So specific. What's wrong? Uh, anyways, uh currently oh, all I'm saying. Waiting for links to go live. All I'm saying is, if Kalisto wins, I'm gonna be doing that. I raised that boy meme the entire next week. Did you raise him? He raised himself. I, what are you on about? I found him. That's like Goku taking credit for his own son's upbringing. Exactly, and he does that. And Goku is not a good example. Yeah, I mean, Goku is responsible for his son's upbringing. Son didn't have a good upbringing. All that right. The sweet coon. Mm. 
it's weird. Sandy's team is filled with almost nothing but absolute threats, but Mega Altaria and Suicune have barely been to any games. Wait, what if he used a fast team and passed it off as his own? Delightfully devilish, Sandy. <laughs> 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 so Broke ten college. ten gil on ten gil on lead Delphox. Lead Delphox? He does like leading Delphox. Lead I, don't Delphox. Know why he, I don't know why he brought it though. It's not good in this matchup. Yeah. He brings it to every game. He just knows how to use it. He didn't bring it to one game. Yeah. He it, I mean, it, like it's, it's, it's I mean, it, it, can, it checks the Sidewire to an extent. It, the Sidewire clicks Ghost move. It's decent okay. against their aura. All right, like CC, we, we got Suicune back. against Absolutely. Fable right off the bat. Oh, I, uh -oh. I, I smell don't. Going on this oh, all right. Wait. Hit the the oh, oh, switch oh, into oh, Cinder. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh so god. Well, Are we gonna go for a baton pass into Weavile right off the bat? Choice band pyro balls. I don't think he's gonna do that on Cinderace. My question is <laughs> what, what item is clef? That is true, it's not a berry. And it's not lefties, which is the uh, thing he's brought every season. <laughs> Sandy, unless he's oh. fucked up. And didn't do the HP, right? Is he? Oh, he is. Super no, he's at 50. Right. Barry would have yeah, rocked. This is, this is not a Barry. This is not Leftovers. Is he Magic Guard Life Orb? That is would he going be... to Drain Punch right now? Physical? <laughs> is he Magic Guard Life Orb Physical Clefable? Or he's just clicking Baton Pass into Weavile. Or Venusaur. He or Flygon. He would be advisable to... Wait, yeah, what if he's Resto Chesto? If he has, oh, if he has agility on Flygon and he baton passes right here, the game is over. Or he could be Rest. He really could be Rest. He could be Resto oh. Chesto. If Fireball yeah. kills here, then that's just that. That's true. Fireball has a chance. It's a Clefable. <laughs> no, it, it has a chance. It depends if it's max defense. If it's not, the question is. The question is, who's stalling here? Is it Kalisto or Sandy? Oh, no, Sandy I said. Oh. All right, we will never know. Oh. Oh, life orb. Da, 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 what does he have da, da, for this? Da, 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 da. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have something for fucking Cinderace. Cinderace just destroys this matchup. Like, yeah. Kind of bad. He, he does have jealousy. I'm, I mean, does he have U-turn on Cinderace though? And he has Zera Aura and Decidueye for We We don't know what Cinderace has. We've only seen Iron Head. Well, if he has In U-turn, he wins with Cinderace, basically. If I had to guess, he's probably Iron Head, Pyro Ball, and U-turn. I don't know what the fourth move would be. Court change, maybe. I mean, it's life orb, so it won't, you know, take help if he clicks court change. Card right. drops. I mean, oh, because he's a steel type, he can get Will O Wisp now. He can use the Libero That's to true. advantage. If he's if he has U turn, he clicks it this turn. Yeah. Yep. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then Cinderace does an obscene amount this matchup now. Rocky Helmet. Ooh, Lindor, Rocky right? Helmet. Jellison. Okay, so Jellison is now literally a his Cinderace counter. If Jellison yep. dies, the game is over and he just flips it. Well, it Venusaur can oh. eat it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Yeah. That, that would have come in clutch against Decidueye. That hurts. Well, it depends. Special oh, no, Decidueye it would have is come a thing. I know the sound. It would have come in clutch. Oh, oh no. So, does he, does he try to go Weavile or does he go Venusaur? It's one of the two. Oh, he, or, I would say Venus or He I could go say, Delphox, but that's a risk if he opts for a ghost type move this turn. Yeah, he can't risk losing Jellicent this early because Jellicent is his only reliable way to check Cinderace mm. right now. It's yep. a 50 50 as to push. whether or not he goes for Ghost Stab or Grass Stab. If he goes for Maybe. Ghost Stab, then he's better off switching into something like Flygon or Venusaur. If he goes for Grass, it's Venusaur or Delphox. There's oh, the Venusaur. That's banded oh, poltergeist. No. That's banded poltergeist. That is absolutely 100%. banded. That's banded damage. That. Yeah. Oh. 
This is oh this boy. is not looking good. This is not looking good. But now he knows like, it's banded, what stops him from going no box and breaking the channel off? Uh, well, dying, to poltergeist. dying to poltergeist. Yeah, yeah this is where I can take at least one. If Go Fox Except, isn't specs. Go Fox, if it's specs or. Uh, fucking. Bringing Del Fox in literally tells Sandy what his item is. If he, if Kalisto brings it in, thinking it's gonna kill, Sandy knows for a fact it's Life Orb Specs or think does, does does Decidue outspeed Del Fox? Uh, oh, no. There's no yeah. fucking universe where max speed Del Fox doesn't outspeed. Yeah. <laughs> also, what it, what stops him from just going into the Weavile and clicking Icicle Crash? Or maybe yeah. doubling to predict a cure of switch or something. Like, that's just I like, mean, I would just click knock off if I was Weavile, but... That is true. Yeah. I would just click knock off immediately, get rid of choice band. Oh, he can't actually switch it. He doubles. Yeah, he needs he a clean Yep. He, needs, he might need the sack Venus over here. Which is... Well, so he's going to do his wall in reverse. He definitely... Like, this is one of those situations where he doesn't have any good... Oh, he the miss! The oh, oh. He's, he didn't mega with Venusaur. Reflect Venusaur? Yo, he, it sh it, if he megas, he lives the next no, one. The well, he. Oh, so he what? What? You no, know, no, that just means you know what the item is because yeah. Ultra Guys identifies the enemy item. I don't know why he hasn't mega yet. I think he forgot. I agree. Unless oh, he's like Chlorophyll Venusaur. I don't which know. Which would be hype, but I don't see it. I mean, he's got to be Mega. He has to be holding his Mega Stone. That is one of the rules. He right. doesn't have yeah, to Mega evolve, yeah. but he's still, yeah. but he has to be holding his stone. Does Mega Venusaur not give Vulcan HP? Or no, it does. Not it HP, does. but it does give, uh, it does give defense and spadef. Oh, no, no, he didn't. Oh, he, for he just forgot. Yep. Someone tell him he's fine. As long as it's holding the stuff. Because some leagues, you have to uh, mega turn one. Ooh. Okay, this is a dangerous situation. So, is... here's the question. Does Weavile have low kick? No, probably not. And even if it does, I don't know if it Okos you care. Uh, with Band, if it's banded, if it's banded, hold on. You're not for this game. You There's no reason to run low kick for this game. Yeah. Kalisto's run Unless... some odd choice moves, though. Actually, Unless it's specifically yeah. for the Kyurem. Low like, kick will oh, actually only guarantee kills Karen if it's max, if it's like no investment in HP or defense. If this is bulky Karen, there's a chance low kick doesn't kill. Don't uh, do it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, hey. Yep. That's a big chunk. It did, with no investment, it does 103 to 122, but that's if. Uh, that's I don't think this Weavile is banded. I don't think this Weavile is banded. No, it's banded. They close low kick. That, that's, no, low kick would have been the optimal play even if it wasn't. Well, he could just go to Sidua. Uh, I think I think knockoff would have been knockoff would have been the play. Mm, all right, good switch in. If I thought he yeah. was banded, I would have just gone to decision why because he can't hit it with low kick. Yeah, but oh. straight oh. up. Oh, Sandy has two very important misses now. Oh my what god, is... that was an air slash what miss is... and a poltergeist miss. This is the fourth consecutive air slash I've seen miss in a draft league battle. I oh, thought you miss. That is just. Yeah. That it mattered a shit it. ton. Venusaur was dead yep. there. Because this uh -huh. that is now going to sit on possible for Okun here. I mean... That miss was see. literally the difference between Venusaur dying that turn and well, living. We've seen Venusaur. Toxic Air Slash. That's not Krokun. True. This is yeah. actually just screen This is actually just Screenosaur. He actually brought dual screens wild. Venusaur. Synthesis, dual oh, screen. the crit! The oh. crit didn't matter. matter. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think it did. It, it was banded. It's, well, remember, it's not stat. That but is it, true. Right we know Weavile's coming in and click. Oh. On max okay. HP with defense investment, Venusaur, it still does like 68 to 80. So, yeah. He put okay. Oh. That caught me off guard. I thought for sure Ooh, just the go grass Weavile knot? Like knock off. Ooh. Yeah, so it's expert belt. <laughs> yeah, it's expert belt. 
Hmm, I wonder what item Kalisto runs on his Delphox. <laughs> it's almost like Delphox gets a fucking nutty amount of type coverage. Okay, Sandy's team is looking chipped for yeah, a possible Weavile plasma knockoff. Pest, plasma Weavile pest. might be able to close the game with knockoff if he can kill Zero Get rid of Zero Aura. If he gets rid of Zero Aura, Weavile clicks knockoff four times and wins. No, Metacham will live. Unless, and might have bullet punch. Is he banded zero aura with knockoff? That is not banded damage. That, that did 20, that's did 30 damage. There's Metacham. So, there's Metacham. He did. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, I don't. Well, mm. Metacham gets ice punch. Metacham Meta does get ice punch. Except and that's not going to kill Metacham. Uh, it depends if Sandy ran it offensive. Oh. oh! Psycho cut! Oh! oh shit. And a lot of damage. I okay, would've had a claw. That's true. <laughs> That's I would've had a claw. That is true. I would've run a dual wing beat. Well, now Weavile comes in and clicks a move, but Zeraora just wins now. Uh, Weavile has to come in and click knockoff. Or Delvox can click Shadow Ball, I guess. Does Metacham get Sucker Punch? No. Okay, yeah, then Delphox can just come in and kill. Yeah. Well, but but then Zara Aura just bombs in. in. Oh no, Zara Aura wins the game at this point. Like, the only way it doesn't is if somehow Jellicent lives one and burns it. Oh, he might actually just like pull a bunch if he has it. No, that's that's what I expected. Yeah, Zara Aura just wins now. So, yeah, the question becomes, does Delphox live a knockoff somehow? Watch if he has is HP Berry. investment, he might? Watch the if this is Culverberry. Most likely not. If it's Culverberry, I'm going to lose my mind. I think it's Expert Pelt, though. Nah. It's not nah, Life Orb. Nah, we know nah, that for nah, a fact. Nah, nah, nah. This might be GG. Nah, 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 nah. This, this comes down... Enough this actually does come down to his him. item. If he's Culverberry, he does live. If he's Culverberry, he has a chance. Like, literally, all this error for has to do is die, and Weavile wins Kalisto the game with knockoff. Yep. This comes down to if Delphox is holding Culverberry or not. If it holds Culverberry, it can live one hit. Like, he can even just directly go back into Cinderace just to burn a Oh, it lived! Kaseeb! Burn. It was. Oh. That's not gonna be enough, but Jellicent comes in, dies. Rocky helmets it, which might put it in range, but then Weavile's locked into Ice Shard. Well, I think, well, think about this. Weavile outspeeds. Weavile wins. No, Weavile it doesn't. Win oh, it's yeah. Choice Scarf. Yeah, and Weavile just won the game. It was Weavile Choice wins. Scarf to outrun Zara. And, and he ran Assault Vest Zara Aura. Did you see that? That was Assault he's Vest. Smart. If he's smart, he goes jealous in here. Chip damage. I wouldn't guarantee that, Nes that Nesquik dies to knock off. Nope, game's no. over. GG, thank wow. you for that's, that's GG. Holy GG, thank you for playing. GG, I raised that boy. <laughs> I raised shake that boy. That is... why, can, why can I see win cons in other people's games, but not in my own? I've now called Choice two. Choice or Weavile. That, oh my god. Shake my fucking hand. <laughs> shake my hand, shake my hand. Oh my god. Knock, fucking knock. Hey, guess what? Guess who finally fucking died? That goddamn Kiram. Knock, knock, <laughs> open up the door. It's me with the nonstop knockoffs and extra... <laughs> yeah. Losing a match again to misses after I lost to misses yesterday. Yeah. Dude, so the nice. fucking air slash miss mattered so much. The poker air slash miss, miss the mattered public. more. Yeah. I lost to misses two days in a row. That's not fun. Scarf Weavile just... Kalisto played his win con well, and his win con was you missing. <laughs> and I knew I had a brain well. I called I called the knockoff win. I was like, and he had it. Oh, I knew knockoff was gonna win, but I didn't think it was gonna kill Cinderace. Yeah. Like, that no did not feel good. If it's like right. Zero Aura has to die, and then Weavile just comes in and clicks knockoff on the rest of the team and wins. And oh, just like, like that, Kalisto moves on to Grand Finals. What did I say? This guy was gonna go to Grands. What did I say? I, I think I, I called this. I'm 
glad I was able to to pick up such a vibrant addition to our team. We get it, you vape. Our our... I raised that boy. That being said, right. Sandy does get a shot at redemption for the third place match. And with that, I bid you adieu. I'll see you in the third place match, Sandy. It's now time. It is time for the arc to come to a close. Yeah, this this is the season three arc coming to a close here. This is your rune going to Grands and winning a draft league with a mono dark team, or Tyler will your rune get his house back? Will he literally finish possibly second place in a draft league with a mono dark team? He has this clawed his way. He has clawed his way up. Will he get back the D to his home? His one shot at redemption is on the line. This I match like determines really whether or not he gets his house back. I don't think there's okay. redemption. That man has literally nothing to lose right now. I, I love that everybody here understands what we're talking about, but Lex is just sitting here like, yeah, I don't understand it. At the very worst, this man finishes fourth with a monotype team. He's nothing to lose. At the very worst, he, he remains he homeless. This this match literally dictates whether or not he has a chance to get his house back. Let's see if I can call another win con. I'm so pissed. I can call win cons for other people, but not. But I can't figure one out for the life of me. Stop having Wade look. That would also be. Oh, oh, they posted the replay and it immediately started. Yep. Lead Crook. Read Crook into Garuda Extreme. <laughs> I mean, this is the basically the standard Tyler team. He could he could bring this basically every fight. He didn't bring Chomp. He did not bring Chomp. Chomp just does lose to Greninja though. And Scarf or Shifu also just kind of beats Chomp, so... Well, not really, because if it's Ruskin, if he goes Ruskin Helmet, he, he wins that one 100%. Which would blow as a 2-cup? Yeah. could just be cute back. E exactly. The Rocky Helmet Ruskin chip, unless Ryoran is big brain, is like, I'm going to go Protective Pass. I mean, this might just be a U-turn from 20 into a I know, it. I know each of these po per person's teams uh this could just be a huge turn but this could just be hitting a focus blast and hoping to god it hit kills that too i mean you or, turn into a rack when it is the safer play right now yeah just to get like a hundred percent safer play because webs it's... for urshifu and greninja is key here oh a hundred percent a thousand percent. oh yeah and the man buzz needs to die so he can't because I'm assuming Torn is also the default. Uh, you would be surprised. He, he does he have more it. than one way to remove hazards. He has a Conkelder, right? Did he bring Rapid Spin Conkelder? It is no, a thing. No, it's Defog. It gets Defog? Yeah, Conkelder yeah. gets Defog. It gets it from breeding with Halucha. Oh, oh my sweet Jesus. Oh my god. That did, oh, that god. did nothing. Thank fuck he has Regenerator. Yeah, no, yeah. Conk gets <laughs> Defog. And this is also a conk. Uh, I'm, mock Punch doesn't kill from here, but it. I mean, banded conk Mock Punch. Mock, that looked like not from that range. Punch. It'll do a chunk. Yeah. Ice, oh. The ice Punch predict was huge there. Actually, he just he knew ice he punch punch again for free. Yeah. I, the ice punch was uh, just the best play. Well, now he, he switches because this is going to be a Will O Wisp. Nope. No, like, he just goes he for the kill. kill. Yeah, that's banded conk. He just went Why? straight banned. Why did he switch a Manda bus? What? He just gets ice punched again. Tailwind? He just gets ice punched again. He's just going balls to the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Greninja comes in. Greninja comes in, gets a revenge kill, goes Ash Greninja, and yeah, he, he forces the switch. Oh, my here. God. They are Greninja, dropping like might, fries. He might nasty plot right now. Oh. Nope. Hydro pump. Oh. That was... The, the balls hell? on this man. I don't know what oh he's doing. Oh my god. What was your rune doing? What was what is he doing? He's, that was minus he's, one. He's throwing away his house. I'm so confused. Oh my god, they honest, are dropping like flies. This matchup is brutal for your rune, period, though. 
I can't he's, tell what's happening here. He's a Diancia Arachmanid and a Conkelder. Like, this matchup is one of Yurun's worst matchups in the entire league. Like, it's bad. Oh. oh it's Sash. It was Sash counter. It's Sash oh. counter. Flamethrower still does damage, though, which is fine. Poison Fang, okay. No po no he Toxic Poison, poison. okay. Thank poison. God, no actually. Fang. Flamethrower does not kill now. I mean, it might have been a lower roll. Maybe. Or that was a high If roll. he gets a burn, if he gets a burn, it will kill. The 10% flamethrower burn. I would get burnt here. Damn. Nope. Uh, Ash Ninja? Does, uh, oh. Yeah, does uh, Scarf Wicked blow enough to clean up here? No, the U turn. Oh, he's should, he's going for Ash Ninja. That is he his play. He loses to Arcanine or Dancy with Wicked Blow. But, Conk is chipped. Torn's gonna be at like 50. 55 when it comes back in, and Araquinid takes. What? Huh? What? Huh? Araquinid 100% takes a wicked blow. At least one. It takes like 55. Because I remember I had to play against Runes of Araquinid last season with my Urshifu. And he just has to come and keep clicking with the blow. It might kill here, actually. But Diancy just comes in, eats one. He I... CC. What? What is he. What? He put CC. Huh? I am so confused. I, I, I've never seen him play like that. What? What happened? I'm I, not entirely sure at the end. I have no idea what happened that entire match. I was so confused. Well, what happened was Sableye died, and that was all my answers to basically everything ever. I'm a little surprised that the second ice punch killed. Yeah, that's, that was also been was like. Was it uh, yeah, Conk was definitely banded. Okay. The banded Shear Force or banded Guts? Banded Iron Fist. Ah. Uh, Want me to run that calc right now? Because I can't. Uh, Conk was max, was, uh, max, max adamant, obviously. I figured. What was the defenses on, uh, Sableye? Um, uh, max HP and 200 defense with a defense boosting nature. Okay. 200 defense, you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, and calc it at 41% because that's what the first one yep. did. Yep. Well, no. Well, Sableye was left with 41% before you tried to yeah. hit. Yeah. So. Right. Ice Punch on a Sableye Mega Max HP 200 Defense with a Defense Boosting Nature. Uh -huh. Wait. I'm just making sure Iron, I did this right. Iron Fist, Iron choice Fist, band. Axe, Adamant, Choice Band, Conk. That was a 25% roll when you hit it. Ouch! It did 35.8 to 42.4, and you hit the 25% chance. Ooh. I, uh... Yeah. My plan was, I sniffed out Lead Crook because that was the best lead against me by a mile, but I knew... Garf couldn't kill, couldn't kill Tornadus, and ba and if I banded, I just uh, U-turned into Kong. That was yeah. that was the that was the first turn for me. After that, I just got lucky, I guess. I realized mid battle, like this is like one of your rune's worst matchups by a mile. And in oh, the don't worry, that, that, yeah. that's whole fault. It's for me. it's very bad. Yeah, Araquanid just did not care about anything Greninja could possibly do. Like, I was mixed work up. On Greninja? On... Yes, I was a mixed work up with a low kick for a red steel. <laughs> that's amazing. That is, that's fair. Uh, the way you brought and it I... in, I thought you were clicking Nasty Plot at one point. It, it does, I don't think Gren it gets that. Get it. it doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. it. Nope. That would be disgusting if it did. Well, I thought that's why it was disgusting. Also, no. Actually, were you confused how much damage the man boss did? Were you max attack with steel wing? Uh, almost max attack with steel wing. Yes. Enough I to kinda... oko a Dianti with steel wing. I uh, don't think it can oko because a max it, attack throwback barely okos. It can oko. It does need yeah. max attack. I I had a feeling you were gonna bring Iron Tail or Steel Wing on something. Oh, I both. I, 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 Probably I had Iron Tail. On Houndoom? Yep. Uh, yep. Mandibuzz is 65 base attack. Yeah. Like, 
but it was literally just it is what it is for me. Yeah, I I, I knew Giancy was going to be risky because he was going to be playing hard for it. Like its name was prep for me because I knew Giancy and Conk were the two things you were going to prep for hardest. I, the moment that Sableye died because I was clicking the cover that turn, I knew I was in a bad spot. Yeah, I, and that I I had nothing that. Sorry. And that is the semifinals. That was yeah. Un unfortunate roll, but still a, gr a good GG's, Jeroen. So, as we can see on the screen here, here's our final, our grand finals and third place matches. Completing for third place is Jeroen and Sandy. Hey, Jeroen, wanna go now? Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Oh, by the way, there is something important I need to say. I will be in Tennessee from Thursday to Sunday, so we can't do it those days. That's like most of the days. I, I know. We could do it like Monday, though. Tyler, I work a 9 to 5. We're not doing Monday. That's true. We're That's not doing tomorrow. tomorrow. No, I meant next Monday. But yeah, I'm, it's tomorrow. Out of town. I'm out of town this weekend. Uh, unless we did it, like, absurdly late for some reason, where I know for a fact I'm going to be at the house. I mean, we could do it the week after next, a little bit time. We'll, uh, we'll work out the specifics later. Fair enough. So, duking it out for third is Yarun and Sandy. Yarun has, you know, he has not gotten his house yet, but if he wins third place, does that mean he gets to rent? I'll give him uh, some Werther's no. Originals. Second place gets to red. He still right. gets red. And then Duke can get out for grand finals. It is the student versus the master. <sighs> I did raise that boy. What? No, I was talking about you as the student. What? Yeah, he's about to send you back to school. Come at me, bro. Uh, he killed me in the regular season. What kind of word? Will Kalisto take Will Kalisto take the crown in his first ever season? Will Tyler and give us the hands? Will Tyler win two seasons in a row? No. Will Kalisto become a homeowner? <laughs> well, aware there's original factory owner. All of these questions and more will be answered during the grand final stream as we then bring Season 3 to a close. Now, before I end things off, I would like to serve this as a reminder for, for a couple things. Uh, and these will be going into posts later on after Season 4 is over, so that way people can remember them. The first thing, I announced this a while back, we're going to announce it again. Uh, starting in Season 4, you are allowed to have a co-coach. What? Yo! I didn't even hear this. The rat. Like, Who'd even be my co-coach? The rat. It is optional. It is not mandatory. The rationale for this is, if you are a person who you know, maybe you live in a really weird time zone relative to everybody else, right? Or maybe you're you know not always available every single week, right? You they need get some... to play on your behalf. I mean, if you work with them. To make the teams and stuff, I don't see why not. Yeah, I know. yeah. Me and your rune work in the DBC like this all the time. Yeah, basically, it makes the league more accessible to more people, which is the intent, right? Okay, it allows stuff to get his matches done during the week and not even. Yo. Have to <laughs> also, might need needed for myself. I don't know, right? It's like I'm working a nine to five now. I don't know how free I'm gonna be. You have to team up with Zoezy now. I feel <laughs> like you're obligated. Team, team Ben. <laughs> Team, yeah, team Ben. Better, you better, literally, better, better, no, you can literally just make your team Team Ben. Well, that's actually not going to be the case, Wade, because uh, you, I guess, you're actually the one person in this call who hasn't heard it yet. Well, I haven't heard the actual name. I know you're getting a new name. I just so, a new thing. I've announced this previously, but as a recap, this was the last season of the Bronx Blazicans. Season four, we'll see the rise of Team Initial V Create. Oh no. Oh no. I love it. Like it's such a good name. It's so good. 
I don't the, know if I'm gonna reveal mine yet. The logo is gonna I'll be sick. It. The logo is gonna be sick too. It. I haven't commissioned anybody for it yet, but like I already have it in my head of it's gonna be like a flaming V on the ground, or it's just gonna be Victini in the initial D car drifting away from it. It's gonna be sick. I will announce my my rotating team name of the season after grand finals. So, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, when you announce yours, I have the meme ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh... I figured what the meme was. That's the extent of that. Uh, I will see you guys maybe Tuesday. Depends on work with more Nuzlocke. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Uh, <laughs> also depends on whether or not I actually finish the grinding, because I haven't even started for that yet. The, because, the uh, grinding for this is taking, like, uh, uh, over three hours. I'm at, I think I'm at like an hour and a half to two hours of total yeah, grinding I, so I far, and I'm not even halfway done. I still haven't even started grinding yet, dude. Like, I have... You need to. I have it's no so free long. time currently. So, it's just one of those things. Uh, if we don't... If we're, if we're not in a position to get it done this week, we'll probably get it done the week following. We'll get it done. But uh, it, we'll probably get it done before... Either before the end of this month or at the beginning of November. So, somewhere in that time frame. No more HDL content for me. It feels like almost a weight lifted off my shoulders. But I wanted to end it with the fucking compilation. I had that idea, yeah. I think, since I lost two. Oh yeah, that's a Galoon. that's another thing. If you guys didn't know, to, if you guys didn't uh, didn't know, maybe you're not in the Discord server. Uh, exclamation Discord, by the way. Uh, Wade uploaded a uh, assault compilation onto his yeah. uh, onto his YouTube channel. Every single um, every single move I missed or relatively unlucky moment or something that had to do with the luck arc all there it's like 10 minutes i thought I, it was there was going to be longer but it's still entertaining watching me suffer i mean so, it'll be longer if you play in 0.25 speed yeah <laughs> so with that out of the way we'll see you guys later have a rest have a good night everybody see you next week be there it's be a three, cephalopod it's three in the afternoon did i fucking stutter <laughs> it's sleepy time, baby.